Hi guys, Alice Taylor down here at Lytham Golf Academy and today we're going to talk about how to get great shaft lean at impact with your irons. Right then guys, so that's the iron shot we all love, isn't it? That one that we feel we've flushed out the middle of the club, we've got ball and then ground contact, hit it nice and accurately and hit it a long way. But the big challenge for a lot of guys is they kind of understand sometimes how they've achieved that in theory, but don't really understand how they're able to achieve that in reality on a regular basis. So let's talk you through kind of why I see many guys struggle to get where we should be at impact with their irons, a little bit with the fairway woods as well, and really give you a little drill and help you improve that shaft lean and ultimately that strike with the golf ball. So I think when I watch a lot of golfers, generally they set up pretty well to the golf ball. And as they move into the backswing, we see a lot of good movements. But as we come down into impact, I think a lot of guys, their body stops. And in order to get the club back to the golf ball, <coughs> they kind of release the club early almost flip the club into impact, add a lot of loft, and the shaft comes back very straight up or even leaning slightly back at impact. And I still think guys can hit good shots doing that. And there's a huge amount of timing involved. And the more timing that's required, generally the more inconsistency we see with the golfers. So what we're really looking for at impact though is at address, we'd see that the shaft would lean very, very slightly forward with a seven iron because the hands would sit opposite the inside of the left thigh and the ball position would be fairly central. But we're looking at impact for that shaft lean to be a little bit more exaggerated, which is going to get the bottom of the arc moving forward, going to give us the golf ball and then the turf strike, a slight downward strike, and it's going to deal off the club very, very slightly. So what we're looking for, in order to achieve that, from that top of the backswing, we know that it's the lower body that's going to initiate the downswing, shift across onto our lead leg, and then we want everything to keep turning out of the way so that the hands and arms can be much more passive through impact, and we're not having to work really, really hard to square the club face up. So initially, I'm going to give you a little drill of how we can feel that to begin with and then we can build that into our full swing so the way we're going to do it is we're going to set up as normal swing back to waist height and from there i want you to feel that you just turn the hips and your torso and your shoulders out of the way as much as you can almost stopping the hands and arms being involved in the golf swing so we're going to go waist height as far out of the way as possible so i'm going to hit three shots try and exaggerate that feeling So that felt good. I definitely launched a lot, lot lower than I would see in a full swing. Not quite as good, felt my hands got a little bit involved, but definitely felt I was turning the body out of the way a lot more than usual. So one final little practice swing. felt absolutely perfect and I think when you do that drill you'll actually be pleasantly surprised how far you hit the ball with such a short swing but having done three of those practice drills I'm now going to try and get that same feeling with my full swing of back and then as I start turning to just keep going as far as I can and what I'm hoping to achieve is much more shaft lean deal off the club get that strike so it feels good in the practice swing. Let's go full swing. So it didn't feel quite as good as the little half swing, but that has gone a long way. So that one would have gone on GC2, that one would have carried 175 and rolled out 186. So with a 7 iron, that's good. Let's go again. That one felt even better. Definitely a little bit flatter trajectory-wise. 
and distance wise that one getting out over 190 so definitely going to help and i think for me the reason a lot of guys we see the body stopping is because they're so anxious about how they're gonna hit the golf ball. They feel that by stopping still over the ball, it's easy to get the club onto there for a good strike. But like I said, the biggest challenge for me is as soon as you stop, hands and arms become much more involved and it does become timing. So, more shaft lean at impact. Stop that flipping. We're gonna work on getting the body as far out of the way as possible. Let the hands and arms be nice and passive. Yes, please. That was absolutely perfect. So guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. Use that drill, try and get that sensation to get that little bit more shaft lean, especially with the irons. But comment below and let me know how that's working for you. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos as ever guys. Subscribe to my channel if you don't already. Follow me on all my social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here in the future. Stay in contact.